Hello, lovebirds. How does it feel to be struck with Cupid's arrow? No, really. What would that feel like? In classic mythology, Cupid was a young man who also happened to be the god of love, desire, and affection. Today, he is a chubby baby with tiny wings that fires arrows at potential lovers. I want to know what this little love assassin would really look like and what he would need to pierce a human heart. First, we need to figure out how big this baby is. I'll assume that Cupid is maybe 24 months old, and at that age, he'd be an average weight of about 28 pounds and about two feet tall. We'll need this information when we give this baby some wings. Now we could come up with some elaborate equation to model the thrust and drag for this kid, or we could just look to nature to see what it can do. This is the Andean condor. It's a new world vulture that can weigh up to 33 pounds and live for over a century. It also has the wingspan of 10 and a half feet, which can hold up over 30 pounds, which is greater than the weight of our cupid. So let's put a pair of five foot wings on our baby. Yeah, yeah, that looks about right. But the wings are about five times longer than the height of our Cupid. So let's make sure everything is scaled correctly. Yeah, that looks about right. This is what Cupid would look like, but what kind of firepower would he carry? Well, it depends on what kind of game you consider man. So where do humans fall along this scale? Well, according to hunters, under 25 foot-pounds of kinetic energy can fell small game like rabbits. 25 to 41 foot-pounds of kinetic energy can take on medium game like deer. 42 to 65 foot-pounds can handle the tough game like elk. And greater than 65 foot-pounds of kinetic energy fired from a bow can handle the toughest game like grizzlies. If the average adult target for Cupid is maybe 100 to 200 pounds, then Cupid would need a medium game bow. A modern crossbow can reliably produce over 80 foot-pounds of kinetic energy. So let's give our giant winged baby one of Daryl's finest crossbows. Yeah, that's terrifying. Nice. An arrow fired by this little beast at range could definitely pierce someone's heart as well. And if you don't believe me, just search for deer heart shot and ruin your day with that. During this season of love, you probably won't be seeing a baby vulture hybrid with 10-foot wingspan and a crossbow sniping at lovers from above anywhere. But maybe imagining one swooping around might encourage you and your significant other to spend some more quality time inside together. Why? Because science. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I love science so much!